What happens when you get stuck doing a homework problem? We're going to look at what resources you should use, which ones are the fastest, and how to actually use them effectively. So this right here is question 9 in 2.3, section 2.3. Let's say that you're not sure at all how to start graphing this one here. Let's look at some of the options you have. So we're going to mainly look at everything in homework help, but right now we're going to look at the textbook first. So I've already downloaded this textbook. You should have this already saved on your device. And I'm going to go over and well, let's start at the top at the index or table of contents. We can see all the sections right here. We knew this came from 2.3, so already I should be thinking it, what I need is in 2.3. There is another way to get to 2.3. So I could click on this, but let's go to the index because sometimes you may not be sure what section a question comes from. So I'm going to the very last page in this book and I'm gonna start scrolling up and I'm gonna look for quadratic. I'm not great at alphabetical order. So I'm looking for the P L M N O P Q quadratic, not regression, quadratic function. All right, so I see a bunch of stuff around 188, 190 right here. So let's just click on 188 and look at that. It took us right where that table of contents would have taken us. This does look like the function that I was looking at a second ago. I'm gonna go back and here we go. X squared plus six X plus eight. I'm not gonna focus on the actual answer to this question. I'm gonna just focus on how to find information that will help us answer. Here are examples in your book, and these examples should be very similar to the homework questions. Hey, look at that, graph the function. Unfortunately, we don't have this nice factored form right here. So the solution would work for if I was in this form, but won't exactly work for the form that we're given. So what I'm gonna do is find the next example. So I'm just gonna start scrolling down. I'm looking for the word example. Here we go, here's the next example, and look at this. So convert general to standard, and then graph. Okay, so this right here will be a good place to start. We can figure out which of these two looks more similar. Uh, for my particular problem, this one looks more similar. All the examples are worked out in detail in your textbook. So right here, that was example uh, one, so solution one. So all the algebra gets worked out, a bunch of explanation. Uh, looks like there is no graph here, but they can walk you through it, how to get to this form. And then you can go back. This form looks like the previous example. So you can go back up, work through this example. How do they graph this guy? So that's probably one of the most effective and fastest ways to figure out how to answer your homework questions when you're stuck. So now let's look at some of the other possible resources you could be using. So again, that was a textbook right there. All right, I have the section homework help right here. So you can open up this notebook with worked out homework problems and class notes. So I already have that opened up in this tab here. In the homework help section at the bottom, you're gonna notice there's actually no questions from chapter two in here. Uh, that sometimes happens, and when that happens, usually what that means is students didn't really ask for uh, questions from chapter two, but don't worry, we can go right into chapter two, the actual lecture. We're in 2.3, so we're gonna click over to 2.3, and we're gonna start scrolling down, and here we see a bunch of algebra worked out. Here's how to get the vertex, y-intercept, x-intercept, Keep going, going. I should have examples. Those are labeled with EX in my notes. So here's one example right here. We find the y-intercept, x-intercept, vertex. I'm gonna scroll out a little bit more. And there's also a graph right here. So that could be useful. We'll look at the next example right here. Maybe your problem looks more similar to this with a negative x squared. And we go through all the same steps and create a graph over there. And this last example is slightly different. It, I don't start with an equation. I start with some information about it. Uh, but you may see a question that's more similar to this. And then this can be your uh, where you go to find more information. All right, that's the notebook right there. There's homework help videos. 
Now I have that already open up in another tab right here. And you're gonna notice again, there's nothing from chapter two in here. It goes straight from chapter one to chapter three. So usually if there's something in this notebook, there's also gonna be a video associated with it. You can go to the regular class lectures right here where I work through a bunch of the algebra and a bunch more algebra right here. So that could be useful if you're stuck on some of the algebra. All right, so that's the homework help videos. Zoom office hours, this is where you actually get to talk to me and then I'll be doing a screen share and working through problems with you uh, in real time. And if I'm not available, you can use NetTutor as well. This question came from, yep, right here, homework 2.3. So the other place to ask and answer questions is in the question and answer forums right here, where you can ask me questions and I will respond or your fellow classmates will respond. And that's another good place to uh, find questions and answers. All right, so hopefully that will help you get through some of the difficulties you're having on these homework questions. Again, I listed the resources in order from fastest, your textbook, you can scroll through it quickly get to the right place, find an example, and then work through it that way. You can go to the notebook and find uh, my notes and some of my worked out problems, and then you got videos and Zoom office hours.